You can see the cursor is a little circle inside of a mouse. Do you see that? A new, a brand new way of interaction. See that? What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Avery Chu. Today, I will be unboxing the new iPad Pro with M1 chip in it and the new Magic Keyboard. Uh, the Apple Pencil is not updated, but we will unbox all three of them. The first thing I realized on each of these packaging is that it has this little sticker top to help you to open the boxes. I guess they're trying to improve the experience of unboxing, which they didn't have uh, last year when I bought my MacBook Pro. So I guess that's an improvement. Start with the new keyboard. It's pretty heavy. There's a there's definitely a weight to it. It's really nice. This is the white color, and uh, it has the Apple logo on it. Whoa! I feel like there's like a power kind of stopping you from like open really quick. Like you see that like there's a click, and uh, it kind of bend, but it doesn't bend very fast. Over here, there's the design by Apple in California. So this is basically the new keyboard. As you guys can see that it looks like there won't be light on it. This is the first time ever iPad keyboard has a trackpad. Uh, it's not a very big trackpad, certainly not as big as a MacBook Pro. And here we got the pencil. And we're just gonna open that real quick. Look at that fancy little tap to allow you to pull it out. And you can see the case. Again, they have manual and sticker probably in here. But for the pencil itself, they put this little top everywhere to help people to be able to pull out each of the product out, like you guys can see, putting on the case, tearing up the stuff. I think these are all new. I don't think they had this ever before. And then you can take off that top. And you can see this little pencil. There's no button at all. Very simple design. And now here's the iPad. And then you can see the iPad is right here. This is the new iPad. There. Wow, it's super thin. It's so, so thin, so small. And this, this monitor is 12.9 inches. And I, I did prefer to buy the iPad because I, I like the touch screen iOS experience. So that's why I'm going with this iPad instead of buying another MacBook Pro. Oh, it already has power. So there's only one port and there's two speakers on top and two speakers on the side. So when you like watch something, you will have a surround sound effect from the both side. This is a new webcam, and I believe this is the best webcam Apple ever have placed on a iPad. This is the normal view. And this is the ultra wide view. So I went ahead and set up the iPad and I went to a search and I downloaded some Adobe apps. Well, I realized that something that it's kind of annoying is that when you pull up this keyboard and you hold it like you would at like a phone or tablet and you turn to type, it's virtually impossible. You can, you can make it floating and tiny. And then you can use the drag function like Adobe, like the phone, so see? And you can type like that. So when you have this floating keyboard and when you're done with it, you can just drag it down here and it'll fall back to the full side. And then you can press this to hide the keyboard or uh, you can uh, do what we were doing, the floating one. Connect to the device and you can see that it quickly snap on. So now you have to have an extra port because on this side of this keypad, there's a charging port. We will have the key keyboard. Oh, it works already. As soon as you put it on, it works perfectly. It shuts off the iPad when you close it, like a laptop would. When you open it, 
It turns on the iPad. I see. Oh, connecting the Apple Pencil is as easy as what you just saw there. When you're using it for the second time, it will show you how much percentage your Apple Pencil is charged. This is Fosco. I just start a new project. That, that loads pretty fast. And then I see what happened. And you can see that there, there is the price sensor. When you press lighter, you get a lighter stroke and you can press harder. So you can actually do a pretty good job. And let's see what happens. You actually can draw with your finger too, but you can see that finger has no more sensor. It's just, it's just that. But pencil, you get a uh, lighter and harder. What is really cool about this new iPad is that this is actually the first time the screen actually feel like you are drawing right on the screen. Before this, the glass, the upper the glass, there's multiple layer of glass. And then now they make all these glass combined into one piece. In the older iPad, you feel like you're touching and you're touching the glass and you see a giant happen underneath. But now it actually feel like it's right on your glass. This is one of the reasons why I decided to finally buy pencils. We're not in Adobe Rush. This is the primary app that I use to edit all my YouTube videos that you guys have been watching. And these are some sample clip from Adobe. I'm just going to see. Good morning, Philippines. And then say, we're going to go to again. I say, if I want to uh, cut it, I cut, and you guys can see that it cut and it continues to play. Start off. And I see, well, if I want to move this clip over, oh, see like, how easy it is compared to on the computer. You can just use your finger, zoom in and out, moving the, uh, you can hold the clip and move it. And this is much faster experience compared to using your mouse and drag because this is interactive like that. Let's say if we, let's say we add some graphic. I just pick a random one. Hmm, what is that? And then it, uh, it will add here and then you can see that it's loaded and then you can see. I can subscribe. In comparison, as you guys can see, the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and the MacBook Pro at 16 inch, their size is almost three inches different. And on the other side, it's only like an inch different. I can open both of them and you can see the inside. And you guys can see that side by side. This is the 16 inch and the 12.9. And the keyboard, I see. So the keyboard looks like they are 100% full keyboard. Look, you can see that this key, the two keyboards are identical in sizes. It doesn't have the touch bar, but they also, Apple also don't have touch up on their keyboard. I wish they have touch bar on all the other devices, but they don't. In some of the updates, the built-in suggestion bar kind of like uh, what you see on the, your cell phone or kind of like the touch bar so I guess like that, that's why they kind of kill a touch bar because in each of this app if there is a need for touch bar they can just natively build one well that's what I have for today if you guys have any questions comment below I will respond I, I always respond if you guys want me to try anything else on the iPad I will subscribe and uh, watch my next video